Hello everyone. Today I am going to discussing about the how to find initial basic feasible solution by Northwest Corner Rule method. For this, I will explain with one example problem. Let's start the solution. First step is we have to check the given transportation problem is a balanced or not. For this, check the total supply and demand. Here, total supply is thousand. And total demand is the thousand. So total supply equal to the total demand, and given transportation problem is a balanced. Next, we have to find the initial basic feasible solution by Northwest Corner Rule method. The procedure of the this method is first we have to start with the cell at the upper left corner of the transportation matrix. Then we have to allocate the minimum value of the demand or supply in the upper left corner cell then we have to substitute the minimum value in the demand as well as the supply then we have to remove the row or column which having the zero value after that one we have to repeat the same procedure step by step till an allocation made in the south east center cell Let's solve the solution in the transportation matrix. The first we have to select the upper left corner for this transportation matrix. Upper left corner cell is the S1 row and D1 column. That is the value of the three. So that is the upper left corner cell. So respective cell we have to observe the demand and supply. Here demand is the 200 and supply is the 250. So we have to allocate the minimum value of the demand or supply. So minimum value is the 200. That is the demand. Then we have to allocate here this 200 value in the upper left corner of the transportation matrix. Then we have to sub subtract this minimum value in the demand as well as supply. So here. 250 minus 200 that is the 50 and 200 minus 200 that is the 0. Next step is we have to remove the row or column which having the 0 value. Here D1 column having the 0 value then we have to remove the D1 column. So next is we have to repeat the same procedure. Similarly next we have to select the upper left corner of the transportation matrix. Here upper left corner of the cell is one that is the S1 row and D1 column. Here I have to observe the supply and demand. Among the supply and demand we have to choose the minimum value. So minimum value is the 50. Then we have to allocate this 50 value in the upper left corner of the cell. Say I allocated 50 value in the upper left corner cell. Then we have to subtract this minimum value in the supply as well as demand. So here 50 minus 50 it will become the 0. Here 300 minus 50 it will become the 250. Then we have to remove the row or column which having the 0 value. Here S1 row having the 0 value. Then we have to remove the S1 row. Next, my upper left corner of cell is the 6. Here we have to observe the demand and supply. Then we have to choose the minimum value and we have to subtract this minimum value in the demand and supply. So here 250 and 350. Among these values, 250 is the minimum value. Then you have to allocate the 250 value in the upper left corner cell. Then you have to subtract this 250 in the supply as well as demand. Then 350 minus 250 it will become the 100 and 250 minus 250 it will become the 0. Then you have to remove the row or column which having the 0. Here D2 column having the 0 value. Then you have to remove the, this D2 row. Sorry D2 column. So next one is the next to upper left corner value is the 5 that is the S2 row and D3 column. Here I have to observe the supply and demand. 
supply is the 100, demand is the 350. So minimum value is the 100. Then I have to subtract the, the then I have to allocate the 100 value in the uh, upper left corner of the transportation matrix and then I have to subtract this minimum value in the supply as well as demand. Then 350 minus 100 it will become the 250 and 100 minus 100 it will become the 0. Then we have to remove the row or column which are having the 0 value here. S2 row having the 0 value. Then we have to remove the this S2 row. So next upper left corner cell will, will become the 3. Here I have to observe the demand and supply. So here supply is the 400 and demand is the 250. So minimum value is the 250. Then we have to allocate the 250 value in the upper left corner of the matrix. So I have to allocate it 250 here. Then you have to subtract the minimum value in the supply as well as demand. So 400 minus 250, it will become the 150 and 250 minus 250 it will become the 0. Then you have to remove the D3 column. So which having the 0 value here, D3 column having the 0 value. Then So I remove the D3 column. So next one is the only here having the only one cell. So 2 is the upper left corner of the transportation matrix. Here I have to observe demand and supply. Both are having the 150. So allocate the 150 value. Then we have to subtract the 150 in supply as well as demand. So here 0 and 0. So I completed so this procedure. So next we have to write the transportation matrix along with the allocations. So here allocations are the 200, 50, 250 and 100 and the 250 and 150. So my transportation cost will become 3 into 200 plus 1 into 50 plus 6 into 250 plus 5 into 100 plus 3 into 150 plus 2 into 150 then total cost will become 3700 and thank you